you have the ability to create a masterpiece. You are the one that holds the paintbrush in your life. That is what we're talking about today. Masterpiece, creating your own masterpiece. So this is going to close out our AIM series, uh, which Shane and I have really, really enjoyed um, talking about AIM and aiming for hope. And so Miguel Angel Ruiz, an author who wrote The Four Agreements, if anybody's ever read The Four Agreements, it's a great book. I would suggest that you read that. It's a pretty quick read. It's a little tiny book. And he said, if you create your life with love, your dream becomes a masterpiece of art. And I love that because it talked about the very thing Shane and I believe, which is love and creating whatever it is you desire, whatever it is that you want, you have the ability to create it, not anybody else. Going back to the four fundamentals of marksmanship, um, masterpiece is the last of those four um, so you remember it was, it was aiming breath control. It was trigger squeeze, which is the one that, that I'm going to talk about. Um, and masterpiece is that trigger squeeze. It is taking the action of the four, right? So we can, we can aim and we can do all those, th those other three but really it's the trigger squeeze that's the action part. And that's what the masterpiece is. So it's the last step of that. And so think about pulling the trigger. Sometimes you may not want to, or think that your decision wouldn't, wouldn't matter, right? That you making that decision doesn't, doesn't mean anything, but you are the artist. You are the sculptor. You're the one holding the paintbrush in your hand. And so don't let others dictate or decide how that masterpiece is going to come out. Yeah, we really are excited to wrap this up. Um, you know, it's, in a way, it's kind of sad, but we're not going to give up in this uh, aim for hope. You know, this is just the start of what we're, Jason and I are really building. Surprise, surprise, I'm going to open with some <laughs> quotes. So my first one is from Henry David Thoreau, and he's an, he was an American poet and philosopher. And he says, the world is but a canvas to our imagination. I just thought that tied in really well to what we're talking about, which is a masterpiece. The world is truly our canvas, and we can use our mind or our imagination to create any art that we really want to. Um, Brian Tracy, who is a motivational speaker and an author of over 80 books, it's crazy, says this, make your life a masterpiece. Imagine no limitations on what you can be, have, or do. And I just love that. I love that he says, make your life a masterpiece, but then use your imagination to not put those limitations on you to what you can be, what you can have, or what you can do. So that's really what we're talking about. When I, when I thought about a masterpiece and creating art, I thought, how can I... What tips can I give our listeners and myself included ways to, to uh, personalize this? And I came up with this. I want to share. Think about your heart and your heart is your paintbrush. Your paintbrush is the thing that you can paint with your passion, your feelings, your desires, really everything that's inside of your heart and all of those things can be your paintbrush. Now, you're not ever going to just pull your heart out and give it to somebody. <laughs> you're also, you shouldn't give that power up to anyone else. You should hold that paintbrush or your heart very close to you. And um, so consider that, that your heart is your paintbrush. The second thing I was thinking about was, well, what could be paint? And I instantly thought about our mind. Our mind can be our paint. So use your mind to create your art, your ideas, your thoughts, what really drives you. And I felt like that tied in really well to what we've been talking about with the Aim for Hope series, that all of the things that we've talked about in that series really focus on you and your desires and your heart and your passion and everything that you want. Masterpiece is no different. Your life is your masterpiece. If whatever you want to create, 
create it. It really is that easy. There's not ever a time that's too late to start your masterpiece. If you want to start today, that's okay. The world is your canvas. Take out your paintbrush and your paint and start creating your art. So it's really interesting, Shane, that I think this is the first time since we haven't shared quotes and things that we had the same one ah. down. And I had that Brian Tracy one down. Okay. And it is a great one. It really stuck out to me. So I'm really glad you uh, you said it. So that that's a first. That's that's really that is a first. Um, but I, I came up with four ways to make your life a masterpiece. Cause I was thinking about kind of the same thoughts that Shane had. Like, how do I how do we make this personal to us, right? And I loved Shane's analogy. I, I think it was so great that our heart is that paintbrush and that our mind and our thoughts can be the paint. So we can change the color, we can change the texture, we can add whatever we want into it to make it whatever it is that we want. And if you don't like the color, change your thoughts and then dab your paintbrush in there and let it fly. So I came up with four ways to make your life a masterpiece. So I'm going to talk about each one kind of uh, not super long, but kind of quick here. And the first one is your mindset. And it goes back to kind of what Shane was saying is what is going on in your mind? Everything starts and begins in your mind. If your mindset is not where you want it, get a coach, talk to somebody who can help you make that shift. Listen to our podcast, do something that will help you get your mindset right. So that you can change those thoughts that you say, or those paradigms that you say, oh, this is the, this is the thing that I'm running. I'm running on this particular program. Let's change that program. We can change it. The second thing is, is your body. And we've had a lot of people talk about moving your body. And, and one of the things that uh, Amberly Lago said is she said, when you move your body, you move your mind. And I loved that thought. Because I, I truly think that it is when we exercise, walk, do something. Um, it, I think it also goes back to nutrition, what we're putting in our body. Um, if you remember back to the days when it was Geigo, right? Garbage in, garbage out. If we're going to put stuff in our, our minds and our thoughts and in our body, we're going to get that garbage out. Um, so that probably took you back a little bit for those that remember those. <laughs> um, the third thing is, is your spirit. And I'm talking about your spirituality. We all have a spirit in us. And so take care of that. If that is praying, meditating, taking a walk and thinking about all the things you're grateful for, breath work, connect with your energy source somehow, connect with your spiritual self. And Shane said it before, but quiet the noise around you. I think that oftentimes is the problem. We don't silence ourselves enough to connect with our spiritual energy. So we're constantly bombarded with cell phones and TVs and commercials and driving to work and radio and all of these things. Take a few minutes to yourself to just quiet all the noise around you. And then the last thing is, is care. And what I mean by that is self-care. Do something today for yourself and someone else. So I also am going to put that little spin on it too, where I am going to talk about self-care and I think it's super, super important, but I think part of that care is also caring for others because that will help your masterpiece. When we serve others, I, I don't know about you guys, but when I serve others, it just makes me feel more alive. It makes me feel better. And, and I even think it could be something simple, right? Putting a smile on somebody's face can make a difference. Um, so take an inventory of your life and see what you can do today to help yourself and help someone else. Self-care and care is probably often overlooked, I think. And so we could, we could probably all do better, including myself. Yeah. I think that self-care is not selfish. I think it's important to be able to take care of ourselves before we can do anything else for anyone else. Um, just interesting going back to that quote by Brian Tracy, you know, it's, it's quite amazing to think about that. This is something like episode 74 or five or six, somewhere in there. And we have yet 
until today to have the same quote. That's, that's quite amazing if you think about it, um, you know, because we're talking about the same topic. But, you know, as I was thinking about creating our art, uh, I love colors. I really do. My favorite color is purple, but I love oranges, lime green, um, light blues. I, I love color. If you want to change your painting, just add color or change the colors. It's up to you. Don't let anybody else dictate what you're painting or what you're, you're creating in your life. Give it color if you want. If you don't want to give it all that color, that's okay. There's, not, there's no right or wrong answer. Uh, some people are also going to plan out their art and take time and you know months to lay it out and plan it out. And that's okay. Others are going to just jump right in and just start taking their paintbrush and just throwing paint all over the place. They're going to be making a mess. They're going to be tweaking their paint. When we're talking about this also, we're talking about our lives. So it's the same thing that applies. Some people are going to plan out their life and take time to do that. And that's okay. Others are going to jump right in and tweak when they need to. There's no right or wrong answer. It's your art. Create whatever you want. You don't have to listen to what anyone else tells you. You create the art or your life the way you want to. Also, do one thing at a time. You know, if we're, if we're talking about painting, so I have a canvas in front of me and I'm painting uh, mountains and trees and clouds. I won't do all of those things at the same time. I'll have the, the color to paint a tree. And then I'll have the color to paint a cloud and then the sky and then mountains. And they might blend, but I'm not going to just take all these colors at the same time and paint all of those different things at the very same, same time. Take time to do one thing at a time. So what, again, I love talking about reducing that noise in life. And that's what I'm, what we're getting at is do one thing at a time and eliminate that other noise. So paint your tree, paint your cloud, paint your sunset, paint the ocean, but do all those things at the same time. When it comes to your life, reduce those things that are, are creating noise in your life so that you can create beautiful art and, and do it the way you want to. We're not saying you have to do it one way or the other, right? Do it your way. And that will be right for you. Yeah. And I think that Shane, you brought up a good point and it was kind of making me think about it as you're thinking of your canvas, right? So, you know, if you're going to paint an ocean, you would probably start with blue and then lay on the top, you know, whatever it is, birds, yeah. um, you know, the actual waves, right? You're, you're going to start one step at a time as you're doing these things. And so that's, as you, as you think about creating your masterpiece, it takes time to create that. I think you need to have patience with yourself, with others. I think you need to take time to refresh yourself, your mind. You know, you need to take those things aside. And Shane and I have talked about going on vacations and things. And that's what it is, is it's quieting the noise. It's changing the landscape of your masterpiece to help you, you know, find what it is that drives you in your life. Also, be kind to yourself. Don't give up. Just keep going. Don't, I, I think oftentimes we're too quick to say, uh, forget it. You know, my life's a disaster and it's not worth moving forward. Just take time with yourself. Be patient with yourself. It, it may be right on the other side of frustration, difficulty, hardships that you have your breakthrough. That may be the very thing that cracks the, the safe right open and allows you to create that amazing masterpiece. So I really think we just need to give ourselves a little bit of, you know, a little bit of, uh, what do you want to call it? But just be being kind to yourself and not allowing, you know, those circumstances or situations to dictate what is going on and, and also thinking that what is going on in your mind 
that that's the manifestation of your life. So your thoughts and everything, that's, that's what you're, you know, you're thinking like going back to what Shane was saying, that's the paint that's getting put on your, on your canvas. So if you're wanting to paint an ocean, but your thoughts are in the color yellow, that's not going to quite come out right. Yeah. It's not going to look anything like what it should. Right. So we need to get our thoughts and our things right for the situation that we're in the circumstance. Michelangelo, a famous artist said, genius is eternal patience. And I love that because I think it went back to, you know, often we think that we've got to do things quick or fast and and some do, right? Some do things really quickly. And I'm not saying that that's the, the wrong way to do it. I'm just saying that, you know, I, I'd love the quote that when we have patience, we can become genius and create the masterpiece in our life. If we're just patient with ourselves and allow ourselves the, the time to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, such great insight. I have uh, one last quote I want to share from Marcel Prost. He's a, he was a French novelist and he says this, the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes And you might be thinking, well, what does that have to do with masterpiece? And I just felt like it tied in really well perspective we've talked about and your, your life or your art is going to look very different to you than it is anyone else. That perspective, uh, a lot of people can look at the same thing and see completely different things because of their perspective. And, uh, you might compare your art to others. But if you, if you look at your art in a different perspective, even if it's your art or your life, it's going to appear very different. Just like Jason was saying, if, if you're going to create an ocean of yellows or um, something like that, that might not make sense to someone else. It might not look <laughs> like it should to someone else. Um, just be, be cautious about the perspective that you have uh, with your life and don't let anyone else influence that perspective or your life or your art. Go out and create, start today and create the life you want to create that beautiful masterpiece and don't let anybody else change the way that you see your perspective, or your life, you are the only one that can tweak that, fine tune it, improve it. So you go and do that. You are the master of your masterpiece. So just be careful about how how much you allow other people to influence you in your life. Now, of course, you can have positive influences, but um, just I'm just cautioning us all to be careful about how much we allow others to influence us in a negative way. Um, We would always encourage everybody to get as much positivity and that positive uh, influence in their life as much as you can. Jason and I will always be here for you no matter what. We will uplift you, encourage you, push you to your limits as much as we can, but it's up to you to start creating your masterpiece. I love that thought, Shane. And I just, I feel compelled to, to share just one last thought and and it, and it came from Trent Shelton, which we have quoted him quite a bit. And if you don't know who he is, he's amazing. I I would suggest following him. He's, he's got really good content, but he sent out a message this morning and he said, he said this, stop treating your dreams like a hobby. You go harder for things you don't even like your job, school, whatever, you don't have a consistency problem. You have a commitment problem. Just think your life depends on, on that job. So does your dreams. Treat them that way and watch them become your reality. Listen, if you don't change your mindset today, what will ever change? And I, it, it struck me really hard this morning when I saw that message because it's true. It's absolutely true. If we don't change anything, what's going to change? Nothing. We're going to keep doing it the same way 
you know, you're going to feel like you're banging your head against the wall because you're going to feel like, oh, I'm just trapped in this, this cage and I can't get out. And we just need to change it, even if it's a little bit today. So, so that's my closing remarks. And, and, you know, I also want to mention that Shane and I, we're, we're never going to tire from telling you guys that you have worth. We love you. We love each one of you. We are so grateful for you. You have purpose on this earth. There's a reason why you're st sitting, standing, whatever you're doing, listening to this podcast. There is a reason why you came to listen to this. So I'm grateful for you that you're here and know that we love you. You have worth. You have meaning. You can be an amazing artist. So make a change today.